You're a fucking hater, bro. You privileged no, asshole. No, flying is like wearing four condoms and trying to enjoy sex. <laughs> Everything sucks about it. <laughs> That's the perfect way to put it. All right, I'm pretty sure this might be something that some of you can relate to. There has been a couple that is demanding a refund after they were seated next to a drooling and farting dog on a 13-hour <laughs> flight. Oh, oh It was Nick. <laughs> Nick was the drooling, farting dog. <laughs> Did someone buy a ticket for the dog and then the dog was just... Do you have to buy tickets around. for a dog? I think you do. Um, I think like over a certain Depending, weight limit. Yeah, right? how, how big they are. Oh, like if they don't fit in your lap in like a bag? I think. Yeah. I've seen people literally like straight up fly with the husky between their legs. Yeah. Like that's their... Remember the, the, the whole period where everyone had emotional support animal? Yeah. Like that was their emotional support. And then the airlines regretted that decision? Right, it's, like, it's just a plane anymore. full of people with dogs on the Biggest lap. dogs you've ever seen. Cause dude, if your dog is well behaved and it's fine, then it's all good. I'd rather have a stinky dog than a guy that shit his pants next to me. Yeah, that, that's pretty rough too. Yeah. <laughs> that you hear about it? doesn't happen, right? It's happened in, in, uh, on the way from Japan to LA. We're talking about the, wait. No, 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 it was on my flight. There was oh, a guy behind is, me oh, God. and he, something just smelled like shit. Is he like oh, an old man. guy? He was older, yeah, but he was in a grandpa. I'd have fought him. Yeah. yeah, he was like 50, 50, yeah. 60. And I heard people in the back like, oh fuck, I'm suffering so hard. And I'm like, what happened? And then I think he pooped his pants. Do you feel more sorry for that guy? Or do you feel sorry for the people around him? Oh, I, I felt sorry for all of us. But the Japanese people are probably really polite and they didn't bring it up. They didn't say anything. They were just saying like, they were just saying like, they were just saying like, I'm suffering. And then he goes, <laughs> yeah. Hang in there, buddy. Like I heard, they overheard their conversation. <laughs> this is on the flight to Japan. <laughs> no, from Japan to LA. Oh, that's a long flight. Yeah. Oh, dude, I couldn't even do a. I can't even do like a, a window seat. Like, oh. never mind, fucking someone shit their pants. Like, that's you tough, can't dude. do a window seat. No, I'm right there with you. I do aisle. aisle. Yeah. Aisle. Aisle. I used to yeah. always get window, but I get yeah. aisle all the time now. <laughs> he <laughs> said he did the bed. Aisle. I'm always window seat. <laughs> I get aisle because it's I pee a lot. That too. Oh, yeah. I get window because I want to lean on something, and when I'm in the aisle and I'm like asleep, and the fucking cart like hits my knee or some shit, yeah. that destroys. Well, we could sit right next now. to each other then, because you're gonna have window all the time. Yeah, Nick's in the middle so that we can. Nick's in the middle shitting his pants. I'll fall asleep on one of your shoulders, so just watch out, bro. His mouth open too, not even closed. Not even so yeah, this was a Singapore Airlines flight, 13 oh. hours from Paris to Singapore. The couple's demanding a refund. Uh, their names are Gil and Warren Press. They said they were sat next to a drooling and farting dog in the flight and they ended up switching seats because it was too much to bear. Well, if they swapped seats, then they why swapped seats, they but now they're demanding refunds because, you know. That's bullshit. That's Flip fucking bullshit. Flip flopping, yeah. dude. If you already got switched and your problem was solved, then what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, that is bullshit. Guys, Honestly, man, though, I fucking hate airlines, so give any people their money back. <laughs> you know what I mean? I fucking hate airlines. What's I the hate, worst? Dude. Is there a single one that you do like? Um, because no. they all kind of do suck, except <laughs> no for the Air. Ones. Air ones are pretty good. Singapore is actually pretty. pretty yeah, good. I heard that one. Yeah. Singapore is bomb. Their yeah. service is amazing. Pretty I remember good. there was that one story of a really big dude that was in the bathroom and he took a shit and he needed to help wipe his ass and he traumatized the flight attendants because he that's, asked them to wipe his ass. But he was weird. being hella demanding about it. Well, that's the Asian bad. airlines are down for anything. They'll they like are. get on their knees and like, oh, would you like a blanket? Would you want? They did it, but they were like. They traumatized afterwards, and oh. it was it made news. Yeah, he looked like Santa Claus. Joe knows every shit story on airlines, by the way. That's two for two. I do hate flying though. I hate. Yeah. It's the worst. It's literally the worst. Is that because you're so big? No. I hate, I hate being in one place. I hate being squished next to people, and then you gotta have this like, okay, thing. who gets the armresting, and then I, I, I try to be nice. But what if you get business it. class though? Then it's way better. It's better. It when still you still sucks. Yeah. It's no, no, what? Because like. I've flown a decent amount of business class in the past couple of years. Um, I flew, I flew from Europe, and it does not get any better. Really? Like because it's cool this for like class from the Europe first. Sucks. <laughs> let me tell you. No, <laughs> I, there's nothing. I, I had to that's why I only fly PJs oh now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but honestly, and I will assume I've only been on it a couple times with 50s and whatever. 50. But like, <laughs> I hey, 50, can I borrow your jet again? <laughs> I can assume that that eventually gets like fuck. I got you know what I mean. Yeah, now I gotta yeah. get like I feel like oh, you just get what? used to everything I and you like. I saw a picture roses. of the Rock eating a steak on a private jet 
while someone was shaving his head, that and I'm like, hilarious. that's pretty tight. Is he not gonna get the fucking hair follicles in his steak? Yeah. But it's multitasking. A I and he's like, I can't wait till this flight's over. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I must be a dumbass because every two weeks I fly back and forth five hours from Hawaii to here, and on top of that. Every single time I fly, even if it's like shitty ass frontier, I get excited, bro. I don't I'm think like, that's what no, makes but you a I, dude, I I envy you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I envy you. It makes me feel like so. It, I have this nostalgic feeling of when I was like 12, flying with my mom to San Francisco to see my uncle. All those feelings I had as a kid. Every single time, without fail, I get them. I, I'm the same way. And it, yeah. and it gets even better because business class, like I flew business class this time over here, and I surprise myself because I'll book out like three to four months worth of flights, and I'll randomly place like business class in there. That's so sometimes wild, it'll just bro. be like, "Ooh, what do I got today?" You know? And it's like, "Oh, it's just economy." All right. But I fly so much that on the day when I um, check in, they go, "Oh, you've been upgraded to premium." So I'm like, ooh, premium, nice. <laughs> and then one day it's like, ah, oh, fuck, I, got, I, I didn't get my sandwich today. And then it's like, oh, I got business class, they're gonna feed me. Yeah. Wait, wait, why do you fly that often? I, I live in Hawaii. Oh shit. So and he then, comes here every two weeks. Yeah, and I fly here every two weeks. And then, and, and then I have a house in Vegas. So Don't you live in Vegas? There, whatever. Yeah, I do. How do you like Hawaii? You love living there? I love it, yeah, yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah, I assume if you're flying here every... But I live in <laughs> El, uh, Vegas too. So then, yeah, and it, yeah. So yeah, I, 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 I hate the, I hate the whole process. Everything about it. Going to the air, uh, the fucking airport, and I hate. I'm like, trust me, I'm not gonna blow this place up. Yeah. And then, and then you know, sometimes you get TSA. Who you saying that to? Yeah. <laughs> we believe you. <laughs> no, but you know, you get TSA. Why don't you bring pre, it up? But then sometimes. They're randomly, there is no TSA pre that day. And I'm like, but motherfucker, I have TSA pre. Just let me go in here. Why do I have to go in this two hour line this way? <laughs> Every single step of the way, I hate. It's the worst. I'm on, I, I wish yeah. I had what you guys have because I fucking hate it. I'll say this. I'm like Joe. I hate all of the other shit. I hate the fucking pre, like the, the, the TSA shit. You hate getting the luggage tags because it's like anxiety until you get on the plane. That's what I love. Yeah. The feeling of. When you get to sit and chill, you're like, yeah. okay, now I could just relax. And oh. there's something amazing of when you get on that plane. And, and that feels better than your own couch at home? Of well, course it you're doesn't. not going from fucking apples and oranges. But that's, yeah, what you're, that's what you're comparing, no, though. No, I'm not. No, you're that's not. not. One is traveling. Yeah. There's like a goal at the You end. already know it's going to suck. Prefer, I prefer yeah. to like fucking teleport. But it's morphin' time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, oh, I didn't know superpowers yeah. were on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The rules change here all the time. <laughs> also, I don't know what it is, but flying helps me work and think focused. Mm. Like, I can fucking just go on and Because you like, can't do anything else. Flying yeah. helps me not work and think. That's really? when I'm like, oh, I can't take your calls for 13 hours. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, it's a different like kind of work. Like I feel like it's a lot of creative or just my, I think better. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe it clears like the ADD and then they're like super zoned in. Yeah, I don't That's know. Flying, flying allows me to finally binge watch shit that I like. Down That's down. another fun thing That's too. Like one of my favorites because like never I feel movies. so guilty at home binge yeah. watching shit or yeah, like trying yeah, to catch yeah, up on yeah. stuff. I did all of it. So even with working, I do work, but then that's like my plan F. You know, I'm like, I open an email and the fucking Wi-Fi sucks, so it's like, ch yeah. Ch yeah. I'm like, fuck, I should just check this at home. I guess I'm, okay, I'll let's watch a movie. Let's yeah. watch a movie, and then you're over here, and then you're like. Oh, no, no, it's not clear anymore. Uh, it's getting dark. Like, you have to literally be right here because versus like an 80 inch TV. <laughs> like, everything sucks. You're a fucking hater, bro, you yeah. privileged asshole. No, no. Flying yeah. is like wearing four condoms and trying to enjoy sex. <laughs> everything sucks about it. That's the perfect way to put it. Every Everything they try to adapt it to is just the shittiest. Uh, like, it's like, you know, like. Appreciate uh, that you're moving at like 600 miles an hour in fucking air, you idiot. Yeah, yeah. You have, no, no, you have. Yeah. This is teleport. Is this you? Yeah. Is this you? You get hand. fucking the headphones? You're like, oh, surround sound so <laughs> Hey, don't pull on my cord. Yeah. Oh, the surround sound so You're participating good. in the miracle of flight as a human being and traveling across the planet. I'd rather just stay I, at home. I, <laughs> I, but I get that too, though. I will say I the that. worst thing about flying is uh, when you fall asleep and you're, you're like asleep and you wake up, you're like, oh my god, that must have been like eight hours. It's like 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Actually, second worst thing, okay? I'm like, I'm like, this is worse than being hijacked, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> this thing is not being able to fall asleep. I can't fall asleep for the life of me. You don't take nothing really? before you go on? I can't do you it. You don't participate Yo, in drugs? Like, it doesn't matter how tired I am, how long the flight is. Drugs like, help the plane ride. Yeah, they do. You love flying, you love flying. I don't love, love flying, flying yeah. but I'm just saying, because I have to do it so frequently, I'm not fucking, I hate everything about everything, and this is four condoms of sex. Would you rather travel by plane, or would you travel by, you know, bus? Everything else. Well, Bart also right, gets oh, mic. Oh, don't you get migraines? Not oh, anymore, no. but oh. almost every. That's why I drive here so much. I'd rather just be in a car. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you rather do three hours of driving than forty-five minutes of flying? Well, because no, it's not forty-five minutes. The difference between it's five Vegas, hours, yeah. anyways. Yeah. That's the difference true. between Vegas and here, I totally understand. Because I still also enjoy road trips. So I'd rather drive than yeah. fly to Vegas. I like driving to Vegas too. Yeah. Yeah. But we're talking about. I don't gotta take my shoes off before I go in my car. Like transcontinental. <laughs> I don't gotta, we're talking over and over. We are we pretty Chinese, dude. Let's take this out. Trust me, I'm not gonna blow this place up. Just fucking, just trust me. I'm not gonna blow. I don't have to do anything when I get in my car. You need to get TSA <laughs> pre check, dude. I do. That's what I said. Why are you taking off your shoes? I have it, and they'll still go, I'm so sorry. What? You also I look like clear. trouble. I have clear, I have global entry, I have TSA pre, I have all the whole thing. All right, dude, stop bragging. So I wanna bro. make it convenient. I go there, like, oh, you're Asian, you're, you're too cross eyed. The fucking clear doesn't work today. I'm like, of course it wouldn't work today. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you have a microwave in your carry-on. He's like, I gotta make sure this chicken's heat up halfway through the flight. <laughs> They're like, sir. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I got all of that, and then sometimes they're still like, I'm sorry, you gotta go on the regular line. I'm like, why do I pay for all this what? fucking bullshit for? That's so I've funny. I've never heard somebody have that problem who has all of those. I have clear. Global entry and TSA pre I also think he's a level. complainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do all of it. I travel with the military, I travel with my family, I used to do a shit ton of shows and Joe has never heard me complain. Because yeah. if it's part of the job, I just do it. But right now, I hate it. He's traveling with Gio and Taika, and Gio and Taika make it through the TSA pre, and he has to still go through the regular line. He gets the shit in of this yeah. thing. You can't find your name on the TSA pre-check. So well, you know what? Good. Good that it doesn't work out for you, okay? Yeah, Fucking suffer every single time.